Okay. So you can just speak to me. Fine. Tell me your name, where you're from, and what you do. Okay, I'm George Lawson from Fort Worth. I'm a building contractor, painting contractor. Where were you born? Fort Worth. So you spent your whole life there? Spent my whole life there, born there in 1948. Uh, more or less a Fort Worther. Uh, what made you come here to do the plaza today? Today we came to Dallas. Uh, we had extra time in our life and we thought we'd ride the train. And while we were riding the train, we were looking at the construction across the street and we knew that this was something to see, so here we are. You never came over here before? Oh yes, many times, yeah. But this is just a, uh, an extra day in our life, you might say. I, a day, uh, the jobs were over, so today is Friday. Got to do something with it. Here we are. So, have you been up to the museum before? Uh, no. Uh, we did go, and we were at the, at the lobby there, and we looked at it, and we were considering going to the museum, but it was so expensive, we thought we would look at the ads down below, and, and that's what we did. Have you been over to the uh, Kennedy Memorial before? No. Museum? No. No, I'm not a big uh, follower of the events of 63, so uh, I, I, I know of it, and, uh, and these extra things, they're just not something I, I go to every day. You uh, recall Kennedy as a president? Yes, yes. Well, really what I recall is a lot different from what people seem to recall now. In those days, people loved him or they hated him. And it seemed like there was no, no ground in between. And uh, uh, the day before the assassination, we took off, I was in the eighth grade in school, and we took off from school to go to downtown Fort Worth at the uh, hotel there, the Hotel Texas, I believe it was called. Uh, uh, he arrived and we got to see him come out of the car and that was an exciting event because there was uh, lots of people and lots of, lots of goings on. And the next day we went back to school. Uh, my buddies cut school and came to Dallas. To, they, he flew to Dallas and then they took the motorcade over to here. So uh, uh, I went to school and then at school they called uh, an announcement at midday. They said, uh, you know, everyone go down to the auditorium. and. When they did, they announced that uh, uh, JFK had been shot. And uh, some people smiled. I'm sorry to say that. Some people smiled and th thought, well, good, you know, we're rid of that problem. And other people were, were crying. It was a very mixed day, as best I remember. Uh, Uh, I recall mostly that uh, because I was young, I was not sitting in front of the TV all the time, but I do re remember that there was a lot on television about it, and it, it griped me because it was interfering with my cartoon programs or whatever I would normally be watching. And uh, uh, I was young enough, I knew the importance of what had happened, but uh, I wasn't old enough to really be caught up in it and swept away in, the, in, the, in what had happened. Uh, I remember that we were concerned because LG, LBJ was becoming, going to become the president and there was a lot of concern about him because he seemed to be a loose cannon of sorts. People thought, well, gosh, will this guy be good or will this guy be a troublemaker? And depending on what your politics are, he fulfilled both of those thoughts. So. Uh, uh, ask me something else. Uh, what do you think now when you come to the Erie Plaza? Is there, is there I, I think uh, I think it's it's interesting to have something that people want to see, but I would like to see it not become too commercial. Like I say, when we came here, we were shocked when they wanted uh, eight or ten bucks or something to go look at their museum. Well. In my world, museums are where you go and see things, and you're not charged for it. You see things because that's why people set up the museum, is to preserve things and show people who are interested, not to make a buck. So. And, uh, did you 
think anything about, do you ever encounter people who thought something about Dallas or about Texas? Do I think that people's opinion of Dallas and Texas changed because of it? Yeah. Uh, maybe no, because people always thought of Texas as being, uh, uh, if you're not from Texas, if you're from somewhere else, you think of Texas as being wild people. Uh, you're either a, a cow wrestler or, a, or a, some kind of uh, some kind of subhuman. <laughs> Very little, very little. I know he was one of your founding fathers. He uh, had a farm across the street here, and his farm is all gone now, paved over. That's about all I know. Did you ever go to this Dealey statue over here? I did see that statue. I know it was made in 1949. Uh, the reason I know it's for made in 49, because I'm almost made in 49, and I thought how well it ha had held up compared to me. No, I haven't, no. Did not interest Not particularly. It, when, when it comes on television, maybe. So. Uh, no, uh, the, because I lived here, I guess, uh, and it was at a time in my life when it was just, you know, it's just an everyday thing, so therefore to me it just doesn't hold a lot of fascination that it does for, for a lot of people. To me, you know, it's just something that happened and, you know, Lincoln, same thing happened to him. Uh, you know, it's just something we read about in the, in the history book, more or less. Of course, here you have it uh, where history is alive because it, it happened here, and that's nice, and that's why I'm sorry to see the museum charges. Um, what do you think the world would have been like if Kennedy hadn't died here? I don't think it would be any different than it is today. I really don't. Uh, he set us on the course for the things that were exciting, the, uh, the moon project and, and those things, those, those uh, wheels that were set in motion continued to roll and, and we carried them out. Uh, maybe maybe we, we would have been less in Vietnam because I think that was one of LBJ's things was he thought he could, uh, he could stop militarily a little country and maybe Kennedy was uh, Maybe he had a broader world view. Speculation, we don't know. Do you yourself have any uh, political affiliation? I'm a very, very middle of the roader. I'm a, I'm a, I can't think what you call it. I guess I'm a, uh, well, I can't think of the word. I'm uh, not nonconformist. Help me out, Ben. I'm not, not a Republican, not, not a de Democrat, so you're a, What's the third one on the on the ballot? Depends on how people yeah, I don't know. What do you call that? Gosh. Independent. Huh? Independent. There. Thank you. Thank you. I'm an independent. I'm a conservative independent. So. Do you think that uh, people will continue to come here 50 years from now? Yes, I do. 100 years from now? Yes. And what makes you think? Well, same reason people go to the Ford Theater to see where Lincoln was shot. It's. Uh, Kennedy has uh, proven to be a, a very popular president. People are very interested in him, and uh, uh, this is 50 years after the event, or close to, and uh, I think in another 50 years, people will be just as interested. There's a, a, uh, the mystique that's grown up around him, and, and there's, he's, the buzz uh, is frequent about Kennedy, so people are interested. He's in, in, your, in, your thought, in people's thoughts, so, I don't see why this wouldn't continue to be an attraction. So. You know about some people wanting to rename a street out here for Kennedy? No, I didn't. What do you think of that idea? I don't like it. Why is it? Well, for two reasons. Uh, first of all, if you are from the next city and you come, in other words, if you're not used to coming to a place, if you come to a place that you don't frequent often, you need continuity. You need to know that this street is still there, and, and if you think, if you have to translate names, it, it's confusing. Uh, I don't think it would increase the popularity of Kennedy a bit. I don't think it would uh, do any, I don't think it would increase the travel to the museum. I don't think it would do any good. 
it would just uh, add confusion to the world. Did you get uh, harassed out here at all by the people trying to sell your papers? No, I, I'm real good at avoiding people. <laughs> you ever run into those people before? Uh, no, I, I'm real good at avoiding people. Especially if, if, if the ones I don't want to talk to. You, know. you said uh, that at the time people really loved Kennedy or hated them. Uh -huh. What was the feeling in your household? Uh, we were uh, finished. Is there anything else you can think of that you'd like people to understand about those times? Uh, about those times? Uh, no, I, I, I would say that that was just a time of, uh, from my viewpoint as a, as a, as a 15, 14, 15 year old kid, it was, uh, we were looking forward to the future. Uh, we wanted space, we wanted uh, fast cars, we wanted uh, uh, bikini clad girls. The mini skirt was coming in. Uh, we liked all that and uh, uh, Everything was bright and optimistic is what I'd say in those days. Just everything was tomorrow. Tomorrow is just going to be it. Today was a great day. Tomorrow is going to be even better. And it seemed that that's the way things were. And uh, that's why I don't think that the, that things would, you asked earlier if I thought the world would be different now. And I really don't think it was, it, it would have been because uh, the world was just positive and, and going ahead at full speed and, and, uh, and you, know, you don't think that, you don't think that was Kennedy, you just happened to be a part of it? I don't think that Kennedy was responsible for it, no, I think that was the afterglow from, from, uh, uh, from the times of World War II when we uh, uh, rebuilt, what, what was that, uh, we rebuilt Europe, uh, uh, the Marshall Plan. I think we, we were living in that prosperity and, and we had lots of money. We were rebuilding our own country. We were making uh, roads and airplanes and, and uh, doing things we'd never done. And, and uh, I, I think that uh, if, uh, if Nixon had won the election in 1960, I think we would have been at the same point uh, financially, soci socially, economically. I don't think there would have been a dime's worth of difference in another politician of the day's day, uh, words. Do you remember him? Not a dime's worth of difference. That was George Wallace. We shouldn't speak of him. We shouldn't speak of him? Yeah. Why not? Well, he's uh, politically incorrect. He's associated with another time in our history that uh, uh, some people like to sweep under the carpet. How do you think that time should be treated? Swept under the carpet because it's past and now it's now and, and I think we shouldn't dwell on our hardships of the past, we should look forward to our opportunities in, in the future. And if, uh, and, and to look back is, is, is not progressing, it's not helping us. Which is not to say we shouldn't forget about where we came from or the, our struggles, it's just that we shouldn't let it hold us back. We should, we should know what we want to, to jettison and, uh, and proceed. Thank you very much. Okay.